Well, hey everybody, Becky Grissom here with you for Bible in One Year. If we haven't met before, I attend Church of the Front Range and volunteer, and I'm also married to Brandon Grissom. And today's readings are Isaiah 43 through 46, and there are some themes for sure throughout the reading for today. But I want to focus on Isaiah 43 verses 1 through 3 because it captured and encouraged me personally. The book of Isaiah up to this point is filled with so much. We see God's people rebelling against him, exile, and more. But then we get to chapter 43, and it says this, But now, this is what the Lord says, like now, focus on this. But now, this is what the Lord says, He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom and Cush and Seba in your steed. Now in reflection, I noticed, again, that it doesn't say we're not going to face challenges. It does not say... Um, no challenges, waters, rivers, fires, storms. But there's a beautiful promise here for us um, of God's presence and his protection. He, he says, do not fear. And we read this a lot in scripture, and I think it's because we need to hear it. At least I do. Um, some studies say that fear not or something similar is found in the Bible 365 times, one time for every day of the year. And others say not quite that much, and still others say even more. But no doubt it is stated many times for us in God's Word. And I don't know what you've gone through in your life. I don't know what storm you might be facing or walking through even now. But I know that when the storm is raging, <laughs> um, my only hope and comfort is to cling to God. And He wants us to come to Him. Um, he wants us to cry out to him, to seek him and seek his ways. And so I want to encourage you with that today. How has he been with you during these times, during monumental times? How has he been with you? I want to encourage you just to take some time to remember and to give thanks today. I also feel led to remind you and myself that God is with you today. God is with you now. Verse 5 says that you are loved and you are precious to him. And yes, I'm so thankful for the amazing ways that he is with me or has been with me when I've needed him the most, maybe um, during big decisions or in times of trouble in this world. But also remember that he desires closeness with you today. He desires closeness with us today, right now, whatever your day holds. Because you are his loved and precious created child. That's who you are. Just take a look at verse 4. Also in reflection, I was reminded of how personal our, our God is. He is a living God. He is a personal God. And he desires to be with us. Um, verse 1 says, He who created you, he who formed you, do not fear. I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. God created you. He calls you. He knows your name. He has a plan and a purpose for you. He is a personal God. And even in our tiny minds, even we know that when we know and remember and call someone by name, by their correct name, it's personal. And God calls us by name. He has created us and formed us and calls us. This may seem really basic, but I actually believe that it's a massive truth about our identity about who we are, and about whose we are, and about the character of God. And if we get it, if we reflect on it, if we allow it to change us, it will change how we live our life, and it will transform everything. How we see God, how we relate to him, how we see ourselves, how we see others. As his child, as a follower of Christ, your identity is secure. You are loved. You are not alone and you are known. He says, you are mine. You are no orphan and neither am I. 
even if you've been made to feel like it before on this earth, I, I, like I have, you are precious to him. Think on that and let it be the foundation, the starting point for your day. You are precious to him. And then verse 10 says, you are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen. So may we go about our day today with the truth of God's word as our guide, seeking to testify, to be his witnesses, to be his servants, um, and then understanding more and more of his love for us and his love for those that we're going to come into contact with today. Blessings and have a great day.